So let us look at one neat application of factor theorem. Uh, and factor theorem, as you know, is has come from the remainder theorem. Okay. So let me, uh, the remainder theorem says that if P of X is a polynomial, you're dividing by a polynomial, say X minus A, then the remainder is P of A. The factor theorem says that uh, if remainder uh, is remainder P of A is 0, this implies that X minus A is a factor of P of X. So this is this is a remainder theorem and this is factor theorem. X minus A is a factor of P of X. Okay, now we're going to use these two uh, theorems, basically this theorem, uh, to find a neat rule uh, by of finding whether x plus 1 and x minus 1 is a factor of a polynomial. So let us generalize. Say we say p of x, let p of x be say ax to the power of 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus uh, dx plus e. Okay, so this is a fourth degree polynomial. This is not uh, perfectly general, but let us be specific. Okay, so if so, let us assume. Let us make a assumption. If x minus one is a factor, is a factor of p of x. This implies, uh, according to remainder theorem, I can say p of one should be zero. If x minus one is a factor of p of x. According to the uh, factor theorem, I can say p of 1 would be 0. So what is p of 1? p of 1 would be a times 1 to the power of 4 plus b times 1 to the power of 3 plus c 1 squared plus d times 1 plus e is equal to 0. This implies, this is nothing but a plus b plus C plus D plus E is equal to 0. Now, what are A, B, C, D, E? They are nothing but the coefficients. So, this implies that if this, you can make up a rule like this. So if X minus 1 is a factor of any polynomial of P of X, what can you say? Okay, the rule is the sum of coefficients sum of coefficients would always be zero okay so let us take an example to illustrate whether this works or not say p of x is uh, say x cube minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 8 and you're dividing by x minus 1 okay now, we want to check whether x minus 1 is a factor. So, it's simply add the coefficients. So, let us do the sum of coefficients. Sum of coefficients. Sum of co the coefficient of x cubed is 1. The sum, uh, coefficient of x is 14. So, let me write 1 minus 7 plus 14 minus 8, which is, how much is this? 1 minus 7 is? negative 6 and 14 take away 8 is plus 6 so the sum of coefficient is 0 which implies x minus 1 which implies x minus 1 is a factor is a factor of p of x okay now what happens if x plus 1 is a factor so let me write let me generalize. So let p of x is equal to say a x to the power say 5 plus b x to the power 4 plus c x cubed plus d x squared plus e x plus f. Okay, so if x plus 1 is a factor, 
if x plus 1, we are making a statement, we are assuming that x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Uh, that would imply that according to the remainder theorem, I can say p of negative 1 should be 0. So applying, using this principle, can I say, therefore, p of negative 1 would be a times, so let me write that, a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 to the power 4 plus c times negative 1 cubed plus d times negative 1 squared plus e times negative 1 plus f should be equal to 0. So this implies this becomes this is to the power of phi. This is to the power of phi. So this implies so this is negative a or minus a plus b because this becomes positive minus c this is again positive plus d minus e plus f is equal to zero and that this implies if you take minus c minus a minus if you add a c and e to both sides can we say b plus d plus f is equal to a plus c plus e if you look at a c and e what are they? A is a coefficient of x to the power phi. C is a coefficient of x cubed. And E is a coefficient of x to the power 1. So E is a coefficient of x to the power 1. C is a coefficient of x cubed. And A is a coefficient of x to the power phi. So what is the common feature of 3, sorry, 5, 3, and 1? They all are odd numbers. Now if you look at B, D, and F, they are the coefficients of they are the coefficient of x cube uh, x squared and this can be said as x to the power zero so here this is the coefficient of odd power so i have phrased it like this so when x plus one if x plus one is a factor so therefore i can say this is a test that if x plus 1 is a factor of any polynomial, if x plus 1 is a factor of any polynomial, say p of x, then sum of odd power coefficients, odd power coefficients would be equal to the sum of even power coefficient even power coefficient you can make up an example and check this rule yourself